I'm actually hosting Thanksgiving this year for both John's family and my family. Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name is Hannah. If you're not new, welcome back. Today's a big day. We are doing all of the Thanksgiving prep things. I don't know if I talked about this in a previous vlog, but I'm actually hosting Thanksgiving this year for both John's family and my family. So it'll be my parents and my sister and then his parents and his brother. His sister unfortunately can't make it because she lives pretty far away. So there'll be eight of us at Thanksgiving this year and I'm in charge of hosting them in our one bedroom, one and a half bedroom, whatever you want to call the office apartment. So it's been a bit of a challenge to try to figure this out, but I think that we have a good plan going. Luckily, we have very supportive parents and my mom is going to make some food and bring it. And then his mom is also making food and bringing it. So we have a few of the dishes covered so I don't have to make absolutely everything. But we are in charge of like some of the bigger ticket items like the turkey, I'm making the mac and cheese, all the hors d'oeuvres, charcuterie board. What else? I wrote down like our little menu thing on the side of the fridge. Cocktails, things of that sort. So we've been collecting things since this past weekend, but I feel like today's the day where I'm gonna like wrap up all the shopping and also cook a little bit. I literally have nothing to do for work today. I hustled so hard yesterday and Monday to make sure that I had nothing on my plate for today. And luckily my leadership is like really understanding and is really sweet and said that if we didn't have any meetings today and we didn't really have anything to do we would just have to monitor our laptop and monitor our phones and stuff like that throughout the day and just like take care of anything that may pop up but i think like 75 percent of my department is out of office so i really don't have much to do and a lot of our vendors that we work with have this entire week off i think as a holiday or at least have today through Monday off as a holiday, something of that sort. That leaves me with a lot of free time, which is very nice because my to-do list today is like a little bit long. I wouldn't say it's like a million miles long, but it's pretty long. I need to start off the day by going to CVS. I wanna get a few cleaning supplies because we're out of some things. I also need to get like dry shampoo and some other little gadgets. Then I'm gonna run to Whole Foods. We went to Whole Foods last night, but I forgot our grocery list and it was pouring down rain. So we just went with what we could remember off the top of our head. So we did miss a few items. So I'm gonna get a few things from Whole Foods. Then we need to get all of like the alcohol and stuff. We're gonna get wine, beer, seltzers, anything of that sort. And then I need to come back here. We're gonna deep clean the apartment. Luckily I kind of like deep, deep cleaned the apartment two weeks ago. So I don't really feel like I have to do too much, but I do need to like vacuum dust lifes all things down tidy things some things up you know like hide some shoes that have been out forever clear off the front door coat rack so people can put their stuff there and i also need to make the mac and cheese today we're gonna just make some dishes ahead of time and put it in the fridge so that tomorrow we can just heat it up in the oven when it comes time to eat because the turkey is gonna be in the oven pretty much the entire day and john's taking care of the turkey i'm not touching the turkey i wanted to cater the turkey like i wanted someone else to make the turkey and us to purchase it and bring it into our home and eat it he wants to make the turkey which is totally fine but i want nothing to do with that because it will stress me out so he's in charge of the turkey which means the kitchen is pretty much all his tomorrow so i'm gonna get all my stuff done today to kind of get out of his way tomorrow when he goes to make this turkey i figured it'd be fun to take you guys along with me to prep for hosting a lot of it just has to do with like cooking and cleaning so maybe this is like a little productive vlog as well i don't have too many like decoration things for thanksgiving we're moving if you guys didn't see my last vlog i announced where we're moving and the fact that we're like literally putting all of our stuff in storage for the next several months so I didn't want to buy anything for decor for Thanksgiving. I didn't want to buy like candle holders and candles and decorations to put everywhere. So we're still working with all of our Halloween decor, which honestly, a lot of it can transition into fall anyways. I just wanted to intro the video and say welcome back. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe down below. I currently live in Jersey City, aka the New York City area, but we are moving at the end of December and... <laughs> I'm not gonna get into it here. You need to go watch the intro of my last vlog because I did like a 15 minute tea talk about where we're moving, why we're moving, like all of the different things. And I don't really know where life's gonna take us in the next month, but I'm very, very excited for it. So 
I'm trying to get in the last few vlogs in this apartment. I'm kind of sad, like I'll miss this place, but also I'm excited for our next chapter because I feel like it's gonna be a good one. I hope you guys stick around. Got everything situated in the apartment. So this is my Aaron's outfit of the day. I'm wearing this puffer. This is from Zara, I think. It's literally like my favorite thing ever. Leggings are from Set Active. It's Ugg boot seasons so with Uggs on. And then my hair is really dirty and I need to wash it, but I'm gonna wash it after I clean the apartment because I just know I'm gonna get really sweaty, so. That is a later task. I'm gonna run to USPS to drop Poshmark package off, Whole Foods, CVS, and then we'll be back here for the rest of the day. But my parents come in tonight, so I think we're going to dinner too. So I need to like get everything done by a certain time so that I'm not still working on things when they get here, basically. Went to Maggie's farm and got a second coffee of the day. This is like their spiced oat milk latte. It's literally so good. And then I got all of the things from CVS and Whole Foods. I'm not going to do a haul because it's all boring stuff. But I'm officially done with our entire list except for the alcohol. But I think that we're going to have to run to a different store to get alcohol. Because I don't think anywhere near us has like seltzers. We need like Pinot Grigio beer, seltzer. I already got the apple cider. And then anything else that we may need. So one more errand to do. But we'll probably end up doing that a little bit later. I am going to wash my hands and start cooking the mac and cheese because John's going to actually prep the turkey a little bit later. So I want to get my stuff done, get it out of the way so he can get his stuff done and then we can clean the kitchen after that. But we're off to a good start for the day. I'm getting started on the mac and cheese. I'm using a recipe from my grandmother, actually. This has been in the family for years. Like, I honestly can't remember a time where I didn't have this mac and cheese in my life. We've eaten it since we were little, and it is definitely a crowd favorite for the holidays. It's just a big hit, so I'm making it for Thanksgiving. It's actually a pretty simple recipe, so hopefully it turns out good. It probably won't be as good as when, like, my mom or grandma make it, but... I can give it my best effort. So we have a huge pot boiling. We're gonna do the noodles. And then I think the noodles will boil for like 15 minutes. The instructions on the recipe to say do it five minutes more than what the pack says. And this says seven minutes. So like I think probably 12 minutes would be good. Yay math. I'm thinking like while I am cooking this, I should multitask and do a few other things like vacuum some rooms and mop the floor. I cannot remember the last time we mopped these floors. That is extremely gross, but it is a pain in the butt to mop these floors because it just is. And we have like the old fashioned Swiffer where you have to literally take the, they look like Lysol wipes to be honest, but they're like the Swiffer brand Lysol wipes and you like put it onto the bottom of the Swiffer and go from there, which sounds like a first world problem and it definitely is, but it's just a pain in the butt to do. So I like literally never mop these floors, but I figured this is probably the best occasion to do it for so that they are nice and clean. So I'm gonna vacuum and then mop the floor, I think, while cooking the macaroni because it's gonna take a while anyways. And we're gonna try our best to multitask to get all of the cleaning and cooking done within the next few hours so that John can take over and like do the turkey and stuff. I accidentally left the camera recording and literally recorded 10 minutes of these <laughs> noodles boiling, so that's lovely. I managed to vacuum the kitchen, living room, office, and bedroom. While the noodles were boiling, I still need to vacuum the bathroom, so I'm going to do that a little bit later, but I'm glad I got that at least done. Then I'm going to come in here and mop. Like This floor needs a good mopping big time. There's just lots of stuff that's, I feel like, stained on the floor at this point that I can't get up, so hopefully the mop will do the trick.
Mac and cheese is done. Popping the floor is done. Vacuuming done. Dusting done. The only thing that I think I'll have left to like really clean is the bedroom. Someone needs to put their clothes away that's all over the bed. So I can make the bed. And I think that's all I have to do for the bedroom. And then once he does the turkey, I'm going to have to come back in here and like re- wipe down the countertop but i think for the most part it's like looks really good i won't do a walk through the entire apartment because it looks the same as it normally does it just feels cleaner to me now also it smells really good in here but living room's picked up i have a lot of stuff for thanksgiving that i'm just gonna leave on the counter so i know where it is this is done mac and cheese is done it's looking and smelling really good in here i am gonna take a shower and wash my hair at some point but i want to do the bed before I take a shower because I always end up sweating after I change the sheets because it's just a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna do that. I don't know what else there really is to do. Oh, I wanted to pre-slice the cheese for the charcuterie board and wash the grapes so that I don't have to do that tomorrow. That's something that I could do now while I'm waiting for him to clean up the bed. Okay, so maybe I'll do that. I'm gonna start the charcuterie board stuff and then just put it in a plastic bag. So all I have to do tomorrow is lay it out. I took some inspo from Pinterest, so I think I kind of know how I want the charcuterie board to go. I'm not going to do anything fancy because we don't even have a big charcuterie board. It's kind of the game plan. I feel so good about having the majority of stuff done. I just need to knock off the very last bits and then I can chill for the rest of the afternoon. While the Thanksgiving to-do list is done, the moving to-do list continues and will continue until the near future. So. I figured I well, have time because I'm not really gonna have time the next three days at least until like Saturday night to do anything while I have time I might as well get some things done that are lingering and like kind of stressing me out and I've just been like on my mind I couldn't even sleep last night because I was thinking about like everything that I had to do that was still open so I'm hoping to knock some things off so I can get some good much needed rest tonight for the big day tomorrow also while i've been cleaning and cooking i've been watching youtube and netflix but i just learned that netflix released like a modern day real life squid games that was based out of australia i'm assuming there's no killing or gore or blood in the squid games but basically the contestants play the squid game for money at the end and there's like hundreds of people that are competing in this so I'm gonna watch it, hopefully it's good. I love the Squid Games, I feel like that's a huge throwback to COVID. It was just such a good show that everyone was obsessed with. And the fact that they're making now a challenge game out of it, I'm kind of here for it. I feel like it'll be a good mix up of challenges where people go to win money. Okay, I forgot to show the charcuterie board before I put it away, but I have to complete a little piece of it tomorrow. I don't know how people make these look so good. I tried to make the little salami roses and I feel like those look good, but now they're getting kind of smushed, so. I'm gonna leave it alone. Hopefully nothing goes bad by tomorrow, but I did Google whether or not you can make it 24 hours in advance and Google says yes. just ran to the liquor store to get wine. It's over in like little canister. We just got a bottle of Shard and then I think we're just gonna figure out what else we need like maybe tomorrow. There are a few liquor stores near us that are open fairly early and are open until like mid afternoon. So if anything, we can just do a liquor run tomorrow based on what everybody is feeling and what everybody wants. So that's that. We are officially finished prepping for the day. We'll probably be up kind of early tomorrow to like start cooking the turkey and just hosting and doing a ton of other things. So I think for today, prep is finished. I'm watching the Call Her Daddy episode with Jack Harlow. My parents are going to get here in I think like 30 minutes. 
maybe later i have to check but i think they said they were gonna get here around 4 30 and that's like 4 30 pretty much now i don't know if they're checking into the hotel first or coming here first but we're gonna go out to dinner later and do all of the things 